broken riding crop. Is Colonel Fawad in here? This door would only lead me away from that hooded scoundrel. So what happened? The guy disappeared for 30 years. That's a long story. I'll tell you tomorrow. Oh no, I'm not leaving till you finish it. The guy was knee-deep in debt, and the best thing he could think to do was just split. And his wife and kids? He ditched them, and they inherited all his debts. Years later, his son, completely bankrupt, swore revenge. Did he get it? Hang on, there's 30 years of story before we get to that. The thing is, the father made just one mistake before leaving. What mistake? When we reach the 26 years since he left, I'll tell you. But the son also made a mistake. He could have found his father much sooner. When? How? Eight years after he split. But we'll get to that. The most incredible thing is that the father ran into his entire family after they'd been gone for three years. That's the way that hooded scoundrel went. But the people talking on the other side would see me. It'd be curtains for me. And what happened? Hold on, we're almost there. First, I have to tell you what happened in the two years after he disappeared. Hey, maybe I could sneak into the next room in one of those wagons. I guess I'd need to find a way to get that wagon moving, plus something to cover myself with. Here we go. It's a really well, long we'll story, stay Why would I want to go back there? But we haven't even gotten started. Then why uh -oh. did you start telling it me? It looks like a wagon has but to be full of cigar boxes to get to the other side, and every layer has to have 15 of them. Hmm. So that's what I need to do. A single layer of 15 cigar boxes glued to each other so I can hide under it. I didn't think you'd get so into it. There's no way I can sleep without knowing what happened to the father and son. Hmm. I think this will be really useful. Two boxes. I guess I'm going to need them. I won't let you leave without telling me the ending. Oh, sleepy. I still need to get the wagon moving and make the fake enemy. layer of cigar boxes before I can carry out my plan. It's a really long story, honestly. There's no way I'll be able to tell it to you today. Well, we'll stay until tomorrow if we have to. I need to know how it ends. One, two, three... Thirteen boxes. Though... I'm afraid the other two boxes I found are missing something, now that I see these. Time to label the last two boxes. Ha! 
I'm as good a counterfeiter as those rogues, with the significant difference that I'm doing it for a good cause. Let's learn the truth about these infamous cigars once and for all. Fake cigars, full of opium. That's how the crooks outwitted the police in all their inquiries. They've killed Egyptologists, literally driven people mad, impoverished peasants, and ruined a whole country just to make money selling drugs. They won't get away with it, I swear. Shame that these loathsome criminals have such good taste in graphic design. So the only tobacco these cigars have is the bare minimum to wrap around the opium tubes. Crooked, but clever. I still need to get the wagon moving you know and make the fake layer it. of cigar boxes before I can carry out my plan. I didn't think you'd get so into it. I'm afraid the other two boxes I found are missing something. Now that I see these. Time to put the seal on the last two boxes. And I give you Tintin Seal of Guarantee. They look just like the real thing. I mean, the real fake thing. Poppy seeds? Wait, there's opium in there. And of course, they fill these tubes with it. Thirteen boxes, plus the two others I labeled and sealed. All the boxes I need. It's perfect. Now I just need to get the wagon moving. No way I, I still see. need to get Without the wagon moving what to and the make the and fake son. layer of cigar boxes before I can carry out my plan. I hate it. I won't let you leave without telling me the ending. Oh, sleepy. I don't care. locked. Hmm, a handy tool but also a weapon, if things were to go south. Luckily, I've got this. Right. 
blue. Just what I was looking for. Hmm. If I'm not wrong, I've got all I need to make my cover. It's perfect. Now I just need to get the wagon moving. It's a really long the plan story, is ready. No but way I feel like there's something else today. I need to do before I get going. Well, we'll stay until tomorrow if we have to. I need to know how it ends. But we haven't even gotten started. Then why did you start telling me the story if you knew you wouldn't finish it? I didn't think you'd get so into it. Shoot. I don't think this moves the rail I'm interested in. Eureka! The time has come to put my plan to the test. Fingers crossed this works. Don't tell me how it ends. I'll never forgive you. Wait a minute. Here's another wagon. I don't care. I want to know how the story ends. You're a pain in the bum. Make sure it's all there and I'll tell you. Finally. One, two, three. All right, fill to the brim. Fifteen boxes for later. Now, tell me. Nope. What? Why not? I've realized that the best thing about the story is how desperate you are to hear what happens. You've got some nerve. You'll pay for this. What are you doing? Get off me, you lunatic! I wonder where this leads.
Proceed, brother. Hmm. I'll need one of those costumes to get through. Psst! Hey! Over here! Now that I look the part, let's knock. Show me your token, brother. What token? Show the token or stay out. I don't have a night. Oh, I... I must have forgotten it in my other room. No token, no entry. Another statuette from the Tomb of Kiosk. Seems like every member of this Brotherhood has one. He'll be knocked out for a while, but tied up, just in case. Dr. Finney is part of this conspiracy. That explains a few things. Like why they tried to lock me up in the mental hospital. The note he wrote was a trap. Show me your token, brother. Mm. Welcome, brother Ra. The meeting will begin soon. The belly of the beast. I should look for an escape route, just in case. In the meantime, I'll have a little chat with our hooded brothers. Well, I think that... that we should stop using hollow cigars. We know that, dear. But why don't we... <laughs> why not use tin cans? Cans of anchovies, or tomatoes, or crab. Let me do the thinking, dear Sobek. You just do it with your stomach. Yes, dear. Let me do the thinking, dear Sobek. You just do it with your stomach. Yes, dear. I salute you, brother. I know. Beg your pardon? You can't hide anything from me.
Sorry, but I don't understand. Don't play fool with me. You let the poet go free. Even mad, he knows too much. Oh, yes, yes. I'll fix that, brother. Indeed you will. The Grand Master does not forgive failure. Phew, that was close. I'm watching you, always. I'm watching you, always. I did my best to defend Abudin. Please, brother. Deal with the Grand Master yourself, Donkey Desert God. For the hundredth time, Set is a mighty jackal, not a donkey. Ah, wise brother Ra, you are my last salvation. Abudin did not fall because of me. It was because of those blasted spies. Defend me before the Grand Master, please. All right, all right. But in return, I'll ask you for a favor. I'll, I'll do anything. From now on, you'll be called Lazy Worm. Lazy Worm? Oh, all right. I am a Lazy Worm. Blast that tinted spy and those mangy Bedouins. What would Mummy say if she saw me like this? Could be a way out if everything goes south. Beautiful, isn't it? A map of our current operations. I made it myself. Morocco has potential. There are contacts in Baghar interested in doing business. We use the tomb of Kiosk as a warehouse and headquarters for Cairo. The curse of the pharaoh keeps the curious away. After the fall of Abu Din, we will need a new base near the Red Sea. Now that we have no spies in the military bungalow, we need a replacement. Or silence that meddling major once and for all. Guy Pajama is the headquarters, as you well know. From here, we control all the routes to Asia, east and west. The far east will be a big market if we lose the route to the west.
That is absolutely not a donkey, right? They all look like the Egyptian gods I saw at the tomb of Kiosk. Reminds me of that statuette I found in the Maharaja's secretary's office. Looks like the presiding seat at the table. Reminds me of that statuette I found in the Maharaja's secretary's office. An eye? Ha! Huh. I think I know who this seat belongs to. Reminds me of the statuette I found in Fuad's office. The professor told me about this crocodile god. Sebek, maybe? A cat goddess? Similar to the drawing I saw in Egypt. Hey, that's my token. So this is my seat. I'd prefer a place closer to that door on the right, though. Just in case. Whichever god this is, it's the closest seat to the door. But I won't be able to change it unless he's distracted. I've heard that Brother Thoth will be unavailable from this meeting onward. Why don't we offer his seat to my good friend, Miss Suhi? Silence, you fool! Saying our names or showing our faces is forbidden. Uh, oh yes, my apologies. My dear Ra, there you are. Finally, some clever conversation round here. Why, yes indeed. So, when will the meeting start? As soon as Brother Neckbet arrives. He's making us wait, as usual, to boost his self-importance. Let me do the thinking, dear Sobek. You just do it with your stomach. Yes, dear. When will the meeting begin? When Brother Neckbet arrives. What about the Grand Master? Will he be joining us too? Why so many questions, Brother Knoom? I am loyal, I swear it! Kiosk and Kai Pajama. Then prove it by waiting there until the meeting starts. I am watching you always. Lazy worm, here to serve you, wise and merciful brother. Greetings, brother Ra. Kiosk and my pajama. Huh? Have you ever met him, the Grand Master? Well, never in person, but his reputation precedes him. A real entrepreneur, a true Marquis, a villain so grand that no hero will ever match him. <laughs> we'll see about that. I beg your pardon? You know, kiosk and guy pajama. It's the password to prove I'm not a spy. All oh, right. Fear not, my brother. 
I have to remember that, just in case. Psst, the password. Again? How many times must I... A spy would say just that, don't you think? All right. Kiosk and diaper pajama. Fine. Just had to be sure, that's all. Mind if I swap seats? Why should I? You'd be sitting closer to the centre, and the ones in charge. Oh, I see, yes. But Brother Horace will never allow it. I'll take care of that. You just go and change the sigils. So, brother, do you fear there may be spies present tonight? Why? You have anything to confess? I just want you to keep up the good work. I'll be vigilant as always. Never forget that. Sit. Brothers, except for our leader who was unable to come, we are all present. The session can begin. First, important news. We've gotten rid of the Maharaja of Gai Pajama for good. As we speak, he has lost his reason. Nothing more than stands in the way of... Hello? Yes, security? What? A message from Cairo. Our situation is dire. Our Cairo headquarters has been discovered. Only our leader was able to get away. He's coming here by air. What? Knocked out? Brothers! There is a traitor in our midst. Our rules do not allow us to show our faces, so you will whisper the password to me one by one. And whoever is unable to give it will be executed immediately. You start. Give me the password. Kiosk and Guy Pajama. Idiot! Couldn't you have whispered it? Now everyone knows. All right then, I'll go into the next room. You will come in one after the other and give me the password of our last meeting. And now, let's take a peek at the faces of the Brotherhood. The Maharaja's secretary. 
So much for the loyal advisor. Colonel Fouad, just as I thought. Mrs. Snowball. So this one must be... Mr. Snowball, of course. A Japanese man I've never met before. The Fakir, of course. What a crew. The only one left is the notorious Grand Ma... Huh? Crikey! <laughs> Only an imbecile would trip on his own clothes. <laughs> oh! You were saying? Ugh! Stupid robes! <laughs> like I said, imbecile! Wait! This is ridiculous! I suggest we take off these robes and continue with the chase. Deal! I'll go first. Of course. It's only fair. <laughs> now you. Take your time. All right. <laughs> now wait for time. Hey! That's not fair! Give up! You're done! The only ones who are done are all those fools! As long as our leader is alive, the Brotherhood will persevere! Sooner or later, the Grand Master will fall too! How dare you pronounce his name! I didn't! That's his title! I forgot how insufferable you are! Don't worry! You won't have to see me once you're in jail! Must you answer back every time? Absolutely! Ah. You're going to pay for all the people you've turned mad! You! <laughs> you are so naive! No one gets what they deserve. I forgot how insufferable you are! Don't worry, you won't have to see me once you're in jail! Must you answer back every time? Absolutely! You're going to pay for all the people you turned mad! You are going to pay for all the people you turned mad! <laughs> you are so naive! No one gets what they deserve! The world's dark place! I will never accept something like that! Ha! That's exactly what the last Maharaja said! You're despicable! He adored his nephew! And now... Because of you, he thinks he's driving in the 24 hours of Le Mans. Yes, that was a good one. Come back here, you coward. Quit now. You've nowhere to run. You're not the one who decides that. The palace is filled with guards. Nothing. Now, you've nowhere to run. You're not the one who decides that. The palace is filled with guards. Nothing that a poison dart can fix. I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. Where did he go? An intruder. Get him. Crumbs. Surrender. You're trapped. He's too far away. 
Crikey, it's locked. What is he? A marathon runner? You can't always scurry off like that, you rat! Another locked door. That's bad. Why don't you come here? So we can talk like adults. If we let him get away, they'll kill us. Turn I can't yourself in, and this I door promise is locked. we won't kill you. Who let him in anyway? So I finally got you. Now who are you? Turn yourself in, and I promise we won't kill you. You have no way out! In the name of the law, hands up! Snowy! You're okay! Oh, my dear friend. Congratulations, dear friend. You've pulled off a masterstroke. What? But don't you want to arrest me anymore? We now know that you and your dog are innocent. The police raided their hideout in Cairo and found a blacklist that included your name. There was also a plan of this hideout. That's how we discovered... He's got away again! Oh, after him! We'll get him, young man! As soon as we got out, we learned that someone had taken the prince and helped the Fakir escape. There was no time to despair. We needed the fastest car to chase down the villains. I got behind the wheel and stepped on the accelerator, determined to stop the Brotherhood once and for all. miles further, in the middle of the jungle, I spotted their car. It took me a few more miles to realize that Thompson and Thompson were gone. Who's the driver? Thompson, what do you think? You don't know what to say, huh? Perhaps Thompson has an idea. Friends? Are you here? Friends? They're gone. Surely they got scared. This is not for everyone. Oh no, we've lost them. Thompson, what do you think? You don't know what to say, huh? Perhaps Thompson has an idea. Friends? Are you here? Friends? They're gone. Surely they got scared. This is not for everyone, even for grown men like them. What a leap! I hope the car holds on. <laughs> well, Snowy. Thompson and Thompson left us. We'll have to save the prince on our own. I hope the roads join back together. If not, we're done. We can't lose them. I'd never forgive myself if something happened to the prince. <laughs> This thing, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Go 
faster. We'll never reach them at this pace. <laughs> catch up to them. This road has to end somewhere. Let's see how good a driver you are. Prince! Poor oh, devils. Oh, Prince, he didn't deserve such a terrible death. There's nothing we can do. Agree. How? Don't come any closer! Not again. I must resist. The eyes. The eyes. <laughs> Bring him and leave him next to the prince. Yes, Grandmaster. We can finally finish this little vermin. Poison him. I want him to go crazy. As you wish, Grandmaster. First, though, I want to ask him a few questions. All right, Tintin. Who sent you? I was sent on a mission as a reporter to Shanghai. I see. So you ran into us by chance, did you? Let me think about my next question. Him. I want him to go crazy. As you wish, Grandmaster. First, though, I want to ask him a few questions. Poison him. I want him to go crazy. As you wish, Grandmaster. First, though, I want to ask him a few questions. All right, Tintin. Who sent you? I was sent on a mission as a reporter to Shanghai. I see. So you ran into us by chance, did you? Let me think about my next question.
poison him. I want him to go crazy. As you wish, Grandmaster. First, though, I want to ask him a few questions. All right, Tintin, who sent you? I was sent on a mission as a reporter to Shanghai. I see. So you ran into us by chance, did you? Let me think about my next question. What the devil? Could it be that dog again? How did you help the Maharaja fight off the Fakir's poison dart in the palace? It wasn't him in the bed. Don't you lie to me. Think about it first before you answer. Grandmaster, we'd better leave here soon. Maybe the dog... I don't care about that darn dog. I need more time. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. That's how he saved him. He's coming as a serpent. Well then, one last question before I put an end to your sanity. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. That's how he saved him. He's coming as a serpent. Well then, one last question before I put an end to your sanity. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. That's how he saved him. He's coming as a serpent. Well then, one last question before I put an end to your sanity. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. That's how he saved him. He's coming as a serpent. Well then, one last question before I put an end to your sanity. Did you think about what you're going to say? Yes. Well then, speak. I built a dummy that looked just like him. I put it in the bed knowing that the Fakir would try to poison him with his darts. That's how he saved him. He's coming as a serpent. Well then, one last question before I put an end to your sanity. Not the dog, 
Maybe there's a spirit trying to kill us. I am not afraid of the living, and even less of the dead. How do you escape death over and over? Good people are lucky. Oh, I cannot take this guy anymore. I'm out of here. Fakir, finish him. Snowy, did you do that? Well done. You're the best coconut and stone thrower I've ever met. But what about the prince? <laughs> All is not lost yet. Snowy, you keep an eye on the Fakir. I'll rescue the prince. Someday, he will be a snake. I was just a boy too, but I made my whole family go bankrupt. But I did have a choice. I could have been a sponge fisherman like my father, that pathetic loser. But I would never have left Greece. I would have been a nobody my whole life, dropped on Leros, that hellhole of an island.
I will never accept something like that! Over! It's over! You've nowhere to run! Ashed! Leave the prince on the ground! All right! All right! Slowly! to run! Ashed! Leave the prince on the ground! All right! All right! Slowly! Once we got back to the palace, I witnessed one of the most moving scenes of my life. Oh, my son. I was so scared. After that, the rest was celebration. The Maharaja even invited me to be a part of the parade on his elephant. Jinji, when you arrived in Gaipuja, unrest and fear reigned. But now, thanks to you, opium has disappeared from our fields. We are back to growing rice. And we can now feed our people again. I'll never thank you enough. The prince's safety is payment enough for me. There's something you can do for me, your highness. Just this once I got my car, but for the next time, have my noble horse Marengo ready? If it's true that you're taking me back to Egypt, take me however you wish. I don't care. Thanks to the Maharaja, we were able to send Professor Anslotsky to the mental hospital while we searched for a cure for them. With all the loose ends tied, I thought it would be time to leave, but it wasn't. The Maharaja invited me to stay in the palace as his guest for as long as I wished. Thanks to this, the prince found a good friend to play with. 
I have had a wonderful stay at the Guy Pajama Palace, but now it is time to leave. I must go to Shanghai and finish the mission that was entrusted to me. Once I'm there, I'll write to you again. Yours sincerely, Tintin Reporter. Let's go, Snowy.